All right, what is going on guys? It is Benny and today we are going to be playing Classic Mortar with a bit of a secret twist. Now we're going to be playing Classic Mortar and we're using Little Prince and Valkyrie. And honestly guys, I love this deck. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Benny, you are crazy. Classic Mortar uses evil archers and it uses knight. And you know, it's a very, it's very straightforward. It's Classic Mortar for a reason. But trust me guys, this secret twist is honestly amazing. I really do love it. And it, it's going to help you a lot. The Valkyrie is very nice in the meta right now. And 100% honest, I suck with evil archers, so I love to use little prints with this deck It's a ton of fun to use and honestly I find it a little bit easier to use than you know Like the usual traditional classic mortar with evil archers So if you're looking for a deck that you can play to get into classic mortar But that isn't as hard to adjust to this is a hundred percent the deck to play now We are going to get that mortar lock, which is absolutely crazy Honestly, we're going to get a ton of value on this rocket as well We might as well do that and then we have a ton of damage on the tower, which is good We can go ahead and cycle the ice spirit here. That was a very aggressive skeleton king for him to play so far we are winning the mortar matchup those bats might be a little bit scary though um i could go for a tornado here if i needed to but actually the princess tower is the mvp we are going to take that out and take minimal damage which is very good um so that is that is good we are off to a good start here we can just cycle some skeletons on the opposite lane here because we will get a little bit of chip damage we might as well keep the pressure up on this guy and then you know we'll see why would he what why would he do that okay let's go ahead and play the evil mortar here i don't really know why he did that he's gonna go for the cannon card i'm going to try something sneaky here and pull it into my mortar and then we should get a mortar shot onto the tower which is beautiful um I'm very happy with that. So then we can go ahead and play the Ice Spirit here. I was actually very scared that the Cannon Card would one-shot it there. I wasn't sure if it one-shots it. And I was going to look like an absolute fool with, it, with that play. But it did work out. We did luck out there. Let's go ahead and play the Little Prince right here. If he tries to stack up an Evil Mortar at the bridge, we could always go for a Rocket just to kind of stop it. Let's go ahead and do this. And then let's go ahead and rock it because we also will hit the Skeleton King. I feel bad whenever people do that to me. I absolutely hate it. Let's go ahead and pop the LP ability here just to help defend everything. And then he will pop the Skeleton King ability. I think we'll be okay with what we have down so far. We can go ahead and play the Little Prince here. Let's get an Ice Spirit in front for that Cannon Cart and then let's get some Skeletons as well. We'll even play the Evil Valkyrie. Everybody can get something to defend with. You know, we might as well just put it all down. And then um, we don't have an Evil Mortar or a Mortar Lock yet, but let's go ahead and play the Mortar on the opposite lane here uh, just to kind of keep that pressure up on this guy you know we want to force him to keep playing counters on both sides we have the little prince down on this side we can go ahead and get a valkyrie down and then we can go ahead and pop the evil mortar on this side and i don't think we'll get a lock but let's just wait actually let's go for the tornado here that should lock us on the tower oh my goodness my brain feels massive today with these tornado plays um if we can get one more mortar shot then we 100 percent can rock it and get the win so that is going to be a nice win let's give him a good game and then we will give him a good luck in a second here let's give him a good luck and let's go right on into the next match all right guys next matchup let's go ahead and play the skeletons in the back e dragon is a little bit scary hmm Okay, this is either going to be Balloon or it's going to be E-Golem. And I'm really hoping it's not E-Golem. I freaking hate E-Golem, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rock it right here just to get rid of the E-Dragon. The E-Drag is what absolutely tears through my defense. So that's the, that's the number one thing we have to get down because we don't want that little prince to get absolutely slammed by that E-Dragon. And then... He's going to get some decent damage with those e golem bits, but because he used the arrows, he's going to be very low on elixir. So we're going to play the Valkyrie in front just to kind of keep the pressure up on him. He goes for the defensive rage. That was a little bit crazy. And the defensive zap as well. That is definitely a little bit crazy. I think we're going to take that tower down off the start, which is awesome. I'm very happy about that. Um, okay, so we got some really good tower damage. We got that, we got that tower down. And the only scary thing about this guy's deck is the fact that he could really honestly lose a tower, put all of his elixir into one push on one side, and take our tower. So we do want to be very careful about that. There's the Inferno Dragon to get onto our mortar. Um, I probably actually shouldn't have played the mortar like that. That was a little bit stupid. I might have to use my tornado defensively here just to kind of... Um, you know be safe let's go ahead and let it lock onto the tower i'm wasting a bit of elixir but that's okay i could have pulled the inferno dragon into the middle there but i just felt like that was you know going to be unnecessary so we went for that instead he does have all of that going down i'm going to go for a rocket play here in a second let's just go ahead and cycle i'm saving my evil valkyrie and then um okay let's go for a rocket at the bridge here especially in case he plays that healer gotcha and then so that's going to be awesome little prince is going to slam all of that evil valkyrie let's go ahead and log here as well just to get all of that down 
and we can go ahead and play the evil mortar here and let's go ahead and get some skeletons in front there's no way he's able to defend this um we are going to get the lock on the tower he's going to defense his app let's get another valkyrie in there just to you know add a little bit of insult to injury and all of that will go down let's go ahead and play an offensive mortar on this side just to be just to really assert our dominance there a mortar on the king tower is kind of crazy and then let's see what he does he's probably going to go for like all out eagle and push on that side let's go ahead and play the valkyrie right here and then okay he's going to do that i'm going to go ahead and tornado right here and we do actually get the infer or the healer as well which is nice and we can go ahead and log right here there's the evil zap let's go ahead and get an evil uh valkyrie here and then let's tornado all of this off of the tower get that stuff out of there my brother we can go ahead and ice spirit log and then let's just get some skeletons here uh, we can defensive mortar very safely there and that's going to be a win so let's give him a good game let's give him a good luck and let's go on all right you guys next matchup let's go ahead and just put the mortar here i'm also i'm going to start live streaming on youtube pretty soon here i move on sunday so I'm, i've been in the process of moving just kind of packing up and whatnot but i'm going to be officially moved on sunday and so then after that is when i'm going to start live streaming i'll have a new setup and everything so hopefully everything works out and is very smooth and then i'll be live streaming on youtube instead of twitch i probably will still put some live streams up on twitch but i'm gonna try to mostly do it on youtube i feel like that's where a lot of the clash royale fans are and i think that's where a lot of you guys would prefer that i stream so we're gonna start doing that so i hope you guys are excited for that let's go ahead and play the skeletons here for the guards he's gonna go for the zap there which is a little bit annoying but that's okay we have the valkyrie as well you know what i'm i'm gonna be honest the one thing that i do like about the earlier season when um you know, I'm not like rushing ultimate champion right away when I when I take my time a little bit and you know just play as needed. It's a lot of fun because you do play a lot of different decks instead of just the exact same meta, you know, Royal Giant decks or whatever that we play. I'm gonna go ahead and play the Mortar here. He's probably gonna play a Royal Giant in response, which is exactly what I want. I want him to play that Royal Giant in response to my Mortar every single time. Um, just because it stops him from being able to get a ton of offense there and you know it works out pretty well. I'm gonna pop the LP ability here just to kind of keep it alive a little bit longer from that Valkyrie. Um, and then I am going to log here. Actually, I really didn't need to log. That was a pointless log. Let's go ahead and Ice Spirit here though to kind of keep the pressure up. Let's see what he plays in response. Um, okay, E-Barbs is a little bit crazy. I was gonna go ahead and go for the Evil Mortar, but because he played the E-Barbs, that was um, definitely not gonna work. So we will play our Evil Valkyrie to defend that, which should be a pretty solid defense. We can go ahead and pop the Mortar here and then let's just kind of wait and see what he does in response to that. He will go for the Evil Wizard in the back. I'm going to log the Evil Wizard here 100%. Um, just to interrupt it and it allows the mortar to take it out. He's going to play the musketeer as well So our evil mortar is not going to get what we wanted there I probably you know what in hindsight. I probably should have just gone for a tornado play that would have been a lot better um, I think we would have got more damage if we went for the tornado play, but that is okay It's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and cycle the valkyrie here. He played the guards kind of aggressive at the bridge there uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play another mortar because we can play our little prince in the response to the royal giant So let's go ahead and do that and we have the valkyrie there to kind of help out a little bit I'm going to cycle some skeletons here just to get that going um, The wizard is a bit of a curveball Let's go ahead and do this and just get the valkyrie in front to tank for a second And then we can go ahead and play the ice spirit just off to the side uh, just so that the wizard doesn't get her right away with splash damage we can go ahead and play some skeletons here and then we can just log as well because we're cycling and then we can go ahead and play the valkyrie in right here and let's go ahead and play another mortar and then he'll probably go for the royal giant in a second here we'll just wait there's the royal giant so let's go ahead and do this and then we can go ahead and cycle some skeletons here we might as well log the musketeer as well just to make sure that she for sure goes down we'll go ahead and play the valkyrie right here to keep the little prince alive and this is good we have the ice spirit to freeze the royal giant let's wait for the royal giant to go down and then we'll go ahead and play the evil mortar then we do have our tornado ready when we need to use it um or if we do need to use it the guards will go down this is a this is okay that was a terrible rocket that was absolutely horrendous um we even missed that rocket that is so bad oh my goodness okay but we actually still got some really good damage there so i can't even be mad let's go ahead and get the little prince down we probably didn't need to do that i'm absolutely just shocked at how bad that mortar was that might be the worst or not the mortar the rocket i'm at that might have been the worst rocket i've ever used but that's okay because that's kind of our signature is to miss those things let's go ahead and play the evil valkyrie right here we pulled it a little bit further just to kind of pull that evil wizard a little bit and then um pretty solid defense there we do have the defensive mortar down i think i'm going to go ahead and play the little prince in the back here and then we'll just kind of wait and see pretty flawless matchup so far actually I'm, I'm definitely not mad about that we will log all of that then let's go ahead and get the valkyrie here and then let's go ahead and play the defense or the offensive defensive mortar you know a bit of both 
and then let's go ahead and tornado that as close to the mortar as we can hopefully we can get a lock off that you might have got the valkyrie down in time um okay we do get a lock which is really good we got the valkyrie there let's go ahead and just log to cycle let's go ahead and get another evil mortar down and then we can go ahead and play the evil valkyrie right here in front of it and that's going to be a lock let's give him a good game let's give him a good luck that one definitely went the distance but flawless match for us and let's go ahead and go into that right, you guys last matchup this guy's going aggressive here we are up against log bait but luckily that ice spirit and the valk whoa what is going on here bro what is going on man you need to slow down let's go ahead and play the mortar here he plays the prince in the back the firecracker is a little bit annoying i'm gonna be honest that might be a bit annoying for us to deal with uh he does have the prince there he's probably gonna try to yeah i was gonna say he's probably gonna try to commit to this push here um let's go ahead and play some skeletons right here and then really good log by him we can go ahead and ice spirit right here though and then because we froze the prince we're safe and we can go ahead and play the valkyrie whoa that prince better not get on my tower that's good that we can go ahead and log here but the prince does get a hit so that is unfortunate but that's okay overall not bad i feel like now that we know what deck he's running it'll be very easy for us to defend because if i had my little prince there supporting everything that would have been perfect so you know we'll we'll make do for sure now the question is do i want to go ahead and play a mortar here he'll probably what Okay, let's go ahead and get a King Tower activation. Using Goblin Barrel with Firecracker is a little bit crazy just because of the King Tower activation. Um, I'm going to freeze this Bomb Tower. Honestly, it was a it was a valiant effort, but it's not going to do anything for us. And then he's going to play the Musketeer. Now, the only annoying thing is that Musketeer... Uh, okay, I, was, I, I couldn't play the Skeletons on the Musketeer just because I don't know why I logged that. That was a bit of a mistake, I'm going to be honest. But that's okay. We have the Evil Valk, so we should be okay. He's probably going to go for a Prince push on that right side, though. So I'm going to go ahead and Evil Mortar on the left just to stop him from being able to commit fully to that. He went for the Barbarian, so I can play the Evil Valkyrie. And then he's going to Goblin Barrel on the Mortar. We can go ahead and Ice Spirit on that. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely crazy. That is just, that is absolutely perfect. I am loving this. We are absolutely slamming the opponents today with this deck. He's going to go ahead and Defensive Log on the Evil Mortar. Even the Skeletons got some hit on, hits on the tower. That's absolutely crazy. I'm going to ignore that Evil Firecracker. We don't want to get too greedy or anything. Thing. we had a ton of damage on that left side so you know i don't i'm not gonna i'm not gonna overextend and you know stop him from getting any damage and then let him do like a prince goblin barrel mega push or something um he's gonna go for the musketeer in front of the mortar that's no big deal i'm gonna go ahead and play the valkyrie here whoa okay he's going in on that side let's go ahead and just start cycling here and then um i'm gonna defensive mortar just to kind of cycle and get that going and then we'll play the defensive valkyrie right here all of that should get defended we can go ahead and log on the goblin barrel and then i mean we can either tornado and log or we can just go for a rocket to seal the deal and get the win here in a second let's go ahead and play uh offensive mortar right here to pull that evil valkyrie we're getting a, we're we're getting a little bit um different you know here <laughs> we're playing it a little bit different let's go ahead and play the evil valkyrie right here to defend he might go for an evil firecracker never mind he doesn't have one uh we can go ahead and just tornado all of that and then we can go ahead and play a defensive log right here that will all get defended and then let's go ahead and just rocket the tower let's give him a good game and let's give him a good luck as well thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it i love all of you and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one